So we use integers often in everyday life and, and today we're going to practice using our integer rules and applying them to some word problems. In our first word problem here it says the temperature between the ground and four miles above the ground drops 10, about 10 degrees Fahrenheit for each mile of increase in altitude. So altitude is how high you are above the ground. If the temperature one mile above the ground is zero degrees Fahrenheit, what would be the ground temperature? So the first thing we want to identify is what we're looking for. And that's our question. What would be the ground temperature? So we're looking for the ground temperature. So I've drawn um, a very simplistic mountain over here as a triangle. And we're going to let the bottom of it be our ground. So we're looking for the temperature right here. And then it tells us that between four miles above the ground and the ground, as you increase in altitude, the degrees are going to drop 10 degrees every time you increase by a mile. So here we have the ground temperature. Then let's say we have one mile above the ground, two miles above the ground, three miles above the ground, and then four miles above the ground. Well, what we do know is that one mile above the ground it's zero degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to fill that in. So we know this is zero degrees, one mile above ground. And we're trying to figure out what the temperature would be at ground level. So again, we know that as it increases every mile, or as we go up the mountain each mile, our temperature is going to de decrease by 10. So if we go up one more mile to two miles, our temperature is going to decrease by 10 degrees. So what would this be? If you say negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, you're correct because it decreased by 10 degrees. So if we go up to three miles above ground level, what would the temperature be there? If you said negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, you are correct because we decreased by another 10 degrees. And you can make sense out of this logically because you probably know that the further you get on a mountain, the farther up you go on a mountain, the colder it gets, right? So this is making sense logically as well. And then we get up to four miles, what would the temperature be? We're going to decrease by another 10, so it's going to be negative 30 Fahrenheit. So you may realize the pattern at this point, and let's see if we can write this as a problem to work out as an integer problem. So we know we're looking for the ground, so we want to know what the ground equals. If we knew zero degrees to begin with, was one mile above it, and we knew that we decreased by negative um, 10 degrees. So this is actually zero minus negative 10, which is going to give us, when we change this to addition, plus a positive, which will give us 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you look at our pattern, that makes sense. And I also have a little thermometer over here on the left to help you visualize this in a different way. So if we started at zero degrees, negative 10 would be at two feet off the ground. This is three feet, negative 20, uh, four feet is negative 30, etc. So we must be going in the opposite direction to be finding the ground, which would be positive 10. Let's look at another example. A diver drops out of an airplane 15 feet above sea level and dives into the ocean going 5 feet below sea level. How far did she travel? So we have a diver dropping out of an airplane. So I drew an airplane, well actually I imported a picture of an airplane, and the airplane is 15 feet above sea level. So if I look over here I have some choices and so I want to find the distance between the airplane and sea level which is 15 feet. Next, that was 15 feet above sea level, Next, the diver continues going down into the ocean 
five feet below sea level. So I'm going to drag this five feet here. And we want to know how far did she travel altogether. So what we're looking for is where she ends up down here, what that total distance is. So we're looking for this distance here. And you can see very clearly it's going to be 15 plus 5, which is 20 feet. So now the way we can write this is 15 minus negative 5 because there was um, 5 feet is negative because it's below sea level and she decreased that 5 feet. So we're going to change that to 15 plus 5 which equals 20. Now the way I actually like to think it through is with absolute value because to me that makes a lot more sense. So with the previous problem and with this problem instead of thinking of minus a negative I always think of it as well we're talking about distance here. So 15 feet is going to be the absolute value of 15 plus the other distance she traveled. It was even though it was a negative 5 because it was below sea level I'm taking the absolute value so I'm really just finding the 15 feet plus the 5 feet equals 20 feet. And we start to see how absolute value makes a lot of uh, sense when we're talking about uh, distance and how distance is always positive. Let's look at the next problem. In this problem, a village is 30 feet below sea level. So that's going to be important. 30 feet below sea level is a negative 30. The top of the biggest mountain is 1,000 feet above sea level. So that's going to be plus a thousand and then we want to find the difference between the top of the mountain and the village. So the village is down here and it's the 30 feet below sea level. Now keep in mind that sea level you know when you come into land um, and you get away from the ocean, the land can dip down and that's why sometimes we have land that's actually below what's considered sea level. So here we have a thousand feet minus negative 30 because we're looking for difference and we know that 30 is negative since it's below sea level. So that's a thousand plus 30 which equals a thousand thirty. So the difference between the top of the mountain and the village is 1,030 feet. Again, you can think with the absolute value. It's really like thinking about the distance 1,000 plus the distance 30. And we're really taking the absolute value of positive 1,000, the absolute value of negative 30. So that's the same thing as 1,000 plus 30 equals 1,030 feet.